What a beautiful question. At the first look, most students think it is very complicated, but no worries. Only grab a pen, a piece of paper. After five minutes, you will see how simple it is. Now I'm going to start the solution after three seconds. One, two, go ahead and get the starter. But where should you start the solution? To start this, I'm going to work on this inner part, which means seven plus second root of 45. So let me rewrite here. Seven plus second root of 45. 45 can be written as a product of 9 and 5. So it is going to be 7 plus second root of 9 times 5. As you know, second root of A times B can be written in the form of second root of A times second root of B. So it is going to be 7 plus second root of 9 times second root of 5. What is the second root of 9? Right, 3. So let me write it 7 plus 3 times second root of 5. Next step, now we need to be a little bit tricky. How can we continue the solution? Here we have 7 plus 3 times second root of 5. I'm going to multiply this by 1. Let's see what happened. 1 times 7 plus 3 times second root of 5. Five. As you know, multiplying by 1 doesn't change the result, right? So that is why I multiply this one by 1, which means this part is exactly this part. Next step, what is 1? 1 can be written as 1 over 1, 2 over 2, 5 over 5, every number by divided by itself. So instead of 1, I'm going to write 2 over 2. Let's see what do we have. So it is going to be 2 times 7 plus 3 times second root of 5 over 2. These two, these two can cancel off, which means 1. Next step, let's expand it. 2 times 7, it is going to be 14 plus 2 times 3 times second root of 5, it is going to be 6 times second root of 5 over 2. What do we have here? We are in good step. 6 can be written as a product of 2 and 3. Why do I do this? Let's see. We will see. Okay, 14 plus 2 times 3 times second root of 5 over 2. Now, what can we do? We have 5, we have 3. What is 14? Look, look at this number. Look at this number and change the 14. I am going to rewrite 14 as the sum of two numbers. What are those numbers? Right, 9 and 5. Correct? Yes, I can. So I write 9 plus 5 plus 2 times 3 times second root of 5 over 2. But what is this? To make it easier, let me change the place of this term and this term. So it is going to be 9 plus 2 times 3 times second root of 5 plus 5 over 2. Next step. What is this? Can you remember this algebraic identity that says a plus b? S squared is going to be first term S squared plus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term S squared, right? We need 9. Okay, now I'm going to use this algebraic identity to continue the solution. So, what is 9? 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2, but 5 is not a perfect S squared, right? But we can be writing in the form of second root of 5 to the power of 2. So we have 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 times 3 times second root of 5 plus second root of 5 to the power of 2 over 2. First term s squared plus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term s squared. So what is this? It is exactly the same as 3 plus second root of 5 to the power of 2 over 2. But do not forget, this is only inner part. We need to calculate second root of this inner part. So we need a radical here. 
and next rule that says second root of a over b can be written as second root of a over second root of b right so it is going to be second root of 3 plus second root of 5 to the power of 2 over second root of 2 next step these two as exponent these two as uh, root can be cancelled off so we have 3 plus second root of 5 over 2 but do not forget we need absolute value here but 3 plus second root of 5 is a positive number so I can rewrite it here we have second root of 2 3 plus second root of 5 over second root of 2 if we are going to make it simpler we can multiply both top and bottom by second root of 2 so it is going to be 3 times second root of 2 plus second root of 5 times second root of 2 second root of 2 times second root of 2 is going to be 2 and this is 3 times second root of 2 second root of 5 times second root of 2 is going to be second root of 10 over 2 and this is the most simplified answer of our question remember if you use different way to solve this question please let me know it always makes me happy to see how creative you guys can be have fun